Now only on News 5, an arts program specifically for people with disabilities is helping to reveal their potential. News 5's Jessica Taloni introduces us to one talented artist as she took her work from the studio to auction. What a special program this is. Using a trained artist as the facilitator, people unable to speak, stand, or even hold a paintbrush are creating stunning masterpieces. The dark blue, okay, you're using that one too. With a keen eye for color and the help of a steady hand, 50-year-old artist Ellen Kane makes the images in her mind come alive. Did you want to continue adding color to the inside of your oval? Ellen has cerebral palsy, a neurological disorder that affects muscle coordination. Do you want me to continue going in this direction? She only speaks with hand signals, but at the Matheny Arts Access Program in New Jersey, a studio for people with special needs, she has complete control. Trained facilitators who are also artists ask Ellen question after question. Did you want to do a crisscross, a circular? What we really had to do was develop a way to, for it to get from their heads to our hands. The work is outstanding, and I've always felt that it deserves to be on a big stage. And Sotheby's thought so, too. The famous auction house gave Ellen and four of her fellow artists the chance of a lifetime, an exhibit in New York City. And Ellen's biggest cheerleader was there. I am the... Ellen Kay's mom. <laughs> I love her very much. By the end of the day, she sold three of her paintings. <laughs> Congratulations, Ellen. <laughs> On the walls of one of the world's great auction houses, the art spoke louder than words. <laughs> the paintings at Arts Access can take one year to several years to complete. Now, I mentioned Ellen sold three of her paintings at Sotheby's. The top price was $800. I'm Jessica Taloni, WKRG News 5.